Hi, YouTube. It's Angela. Back again, we're going to, today we're going to do some astro sign readings. Okay, so I've pre-chosen um, oracle cards for each sign from a couple decks, and we'll move through the signs and clarify with the Zen tarot to see uh, what, the, what the energies are now. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start right away with Aries. Okay, so for you, Aries, Oh, and the decks I'm using, let me tell you real quick, are from the Goddess Love Oracle. It's a beautiful deck. I have one that's the Goddess Dream and one that's Goddess Love. I just love these decks. And then from Messages from the Light, it's a uh, beautiful deck as well with lots of lovely messages for us. Okay, so Aries, your first cards, the oracles that I pulled for you are Companionship. You are not alone. And group work. You are not alone. <laughs> I love it. So this is a calling. I'm I'm feeling that for some of you, this is a uh, calling for to, to be grounded in your groups, to be grounded in your circle, your, your closest circle, right? And make sure that you feel and use when needed, the support that's there. But a lot of you too go to a little um, different space with that. And even just being alone, you can call in your guides and you can know that you're supported beyond what you can see. And so for some of you, this might take on a more um, higher consciousness energy, but for sure, it's a reminder to you, Aries, that yeah, you're a powerhouse. You're the leader of the um, zodiac. You're the first one out the gate and all that, but you're not alone. You can you can maintain your power and still lean on others and still lean on other loving energy to keep yourself going. So I'm going to pull three cards from Zentero. Actually, I think I'm going to do the uh, five card spreads. I think I'm going to do those. I think we could we have time for that. I don't have to be in a rush, right? And hopefully after I finish this video and edit it, I have properly time stamped it so you can all skip to the the chapters that you need to, you know, go to for your own zodiac sign. Okay. So let me get these out here. Oh, look at this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect Aries. Okay. So this is gonna be for some of you, remember this is current energy um, for whenever you're drawn to watch this video and using your sun, rising, moon, whatever, whatever aspect of your personal chart you want to check in on. And this is going to be just a, a current energy for some of you. It may not be for all of you, but always there's an aspect of it that we can relate to, right? Okay, so for Aries, remember it's, to lean on your companions and um, and your groups that you have in place, whether that is spiritual or uh, you know 3D in this world. Remember the cards across here are representing where you are now, and these are going into the next level of awareness here. Your starting point is aloneness. Look at that. So the um, you know the call to lean on others may not, uh, for some of you, it may not come as easy because of your um, strong independent streak, the way that you go it alone. And, and remember, this is not a card of loneliness with, the, with missing others or the absence of others. This is the, the presence of yourself. This is, you stand alone, you have the power, um, you're very empowered, and that's all good and fine. But there, in those times when we want to lean on others and we want sort of a softer place to land or reaching for our higher power in order to seek our answers, right? That's what this spread is uh, guiding you through. Internally within you. So your internal and your external energy cards here are both mental energies. Uh, to, to go with this sense of, I can go it alone. I have enough uh, self-empowerment on my own to make it, that's all good. But sometimes when we are struggling or when we're feeling that we don't have the support, internally, 
there may be conflicting thoughts going on within you, within your um, thought patterns, uh, maybe some worries, you know, what would happen if I went forward, you know, without leaning on others, or what would happen if I did lean on others, and it made me feel weaker, whatever, there might be some conflict there, with uh, being able to just sort of lean on and, and seek support from someone else. And so those mental uh, conflicts that go on within your brain may be present. And then, but in your external world, that creates a feeling that, oh, it's far, what I want to achieve is far off in the distance, or these people that I want to lean on are not really there for me. They're not really there. It's, it's somewhere in the future. Remember, these are sort of the tricks that our minds play on us, right? So we want to be able to acknowledge that, you know, I, I, can, I can hear myself uh, second guessing the fact that I have the support and if I grip onto that energy that no, I don't have the support, then it does create a feeling of longing in our daily life. Like this, it is not present for me right now. But the key to moving forward is to clear out some of those mental energies and, and see it with fresh eyes, right? This innocence card tells the story of this old sage, lived it all, done it all, knows it all, yet he can still find joy and wonder in the simplest things in life, such as the grasshopper in his hand, as if he's seeing it for the first time. So it's it's clearing some of that mental clogged energy and being able to see things with fresh eyes. Even if it's just when you wake up in the morning, I'm willing to see things as if, you know, it, I'm just experiencing them for the first time today. And then as the day goes on, maybe some of the older um, doubts creep in, that's fine. We want to just return to that, that same space again as this moment has never occurred before. And what's to come, I cannot predict, right? I can find you know, solace in the groups and the loved ones around me or my higher power and, and really make it um, with those energies on board. I can, I can move forward. And of course, the outcome or the overview into this whole spread is the healing card. This is a card of emotion. This is aligning mind, body, spirit. This is, you know, that heart chakra is very well lit and, and very highlighted here in this card. So there, there are, it's a healing cycle. And whether it's that you go through this cycle once at this current time, or that it's a reminder that this could reoccur and this could come up for me again. And I could find myself in this place again, where I'm not feeling so secure and so strong on my own, that I can always rest into those uh, supportive energies around me, whether it be actual, the actual humans around you or the energy of spirit. So that's just a gentle reminder for you, Aries. You're so strong on your own. You have it, you have what it takes. Yet we all could use that soft place to land at times. And instead of fighting it or using pride, letting that get in your way, go ahead and um, release and, and allow yourself to be in that soft place. Okay, next is Taurus. For you, Taurus, I pulled awakening, live in the moment, and possibilities. Look at that. Keep everything open. Keep all of the um, possible energies wide open for you. Because if we get stuck, and that that's a that's a really good one because there there seems to be a contrast. Live in the moment, yet look to what could become. You know, in the future, look look to what's possible and coming. But really, the best way to you know uh, move toward the things that are possible is to be fully aligned now because then you have a full picture of the entire landscape. <clears throat> if you're in, you know, uh, just a more closed off, constricted space, obviously you're closing yourself off from, from what's out there and what's, what's possibly coming. So for you, Taurus, it's a practice to remember that this very moment is your opportunity to get aligned, 
and to, to keep your energies open and to allow what's to come to come into your experience next. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice way to, you know, to create a, a heart opening that you, you know, you can work with over and over again. Like we said, with the Aries card, it felt like that could be the Aries spread. It felt like that could be something like a pattern that we all go through, right? Um, feeling alone, feeling stuck. I'm not sure if I could achieve this on my own and then finding those sources that are there for you. And with you, Taurus, we have the same. It's almost like, I can't see, you know, how well this will turn out or not, or I can't see the path ahead. But the point is, is to get strong in the place where your feet are on that path now, and then await what comes because it will, it will, it obviously it will all continue to come through. Okay, I love yours. I love your Zen spread. Let me get this set so we can see everything. And let me show you that. So for Taurus, we have, let me see if I can, that's good. Your uh, starting place here is it starts with sharing. It starts with keeping your heart open, giving of yourself, sharing your ideas, putting them out there into the universe, putting out you know, those possibilities, even if it feels like a pipe dream right now, all the while staying aligned, um, living in the moment, being willing to be awakened to what's coming, right? There's a, there's a flow here, right? I stay aligned. I, I stay, I remain open to what's coming at the same time. I'm giving of myself. I'm putting my ideas out there. I'm putting my heart out there. This is a beautiful combination of energy to get things generated, to get things moving. And then within you, your internal card here is breakthrough. There is a possibility that you have been feeling stuck and that, oh, what do I do? And, and maybe even trying to assert yourself um, in, you know, in, your, in your daily life, assert yourself and get things done and take action when yes, that's necessary, but remembering the spiritual aspect of it and remembering giving from your heart and, and uh, from your creative self is the way forward. It's always the way forward. It's how things manifest, right? Is to use that generous heart, stay aligned, live in the moment and be ready for possibilities. Internally, you're getting this. And this breakthrough card, you know, really has a strong third chakra um, vibe here where it's all just kind of busting open that's your sense of self. That's your empowerment coming out. And you're getting this. You're getting that, oh, I could assert myself in the moments I need to, but in the moments that are, it's not necessary, I can also remain present, remain open, giving of myself, you know, moving my ideas through my body so that I could share them out into the world. These, this combination of of the alignment and, and of the giving and the waiting the possibilities creates that breakthrough. And then in your external world, it creates a, a smoother um, understanding between you and others or between you and your ideas. If that, if you want to make it, you know, less about any human person, these little doves here could represent all the ideas you want to move toward feeling in the past that you were barred, that you, there was a barrier between you and that achievement or Again, if this is literal people that you want to smooth things over with or, or um, you know, share and give of yourself to, those barriers are actually an illusion. If you see them, they're faded here in spaces and there's a wide space to move through to connect, to connect with those ideas, to connect with those other people. So this is what it creates in your waking life. Once these alignments are in place internally, you have the, the kind of the green light to go ahead and make the connection, to go ahead and make the progress. And then another reminder to stay in the moment, to stay in the zone, right? Once the energies get moving and you're able to make some breakthroughs for yourself, remember to stay in your, in your zone. These acrobats are flying through the air with, you know, with ease, but there's three of them. And if somebody starts to think about some other subject, right? You know, what, what, uh, what's my assignment due in class tomorrow? Or, you know, what time am I going to go out tonight with my friends? You put yourself, you put your mind outside of this situation and 
all of them will go tumbling down because the connection is broken, right? So it's keeping yourself in that zone, keeping the alignment as much as you can. We're not machines, right? But we want to return to that alignment so that we can really understand our potential and really, really live to our full potential. And then the insight and the outcome of this spread is beautiful. It's abundance. This is the richness of life. This, this could be financial prosperity, but more so this is spiritual abundance. This is abundance in your relationships. This is pure loving connection with others. This is appreciating all the aspects of our lives as they happen, you know, in every moment, right? In this, this sort of uh, live in the moment vibe, it's appreciating everything that's going on around you, the, the nature that's outside and the people that, that show up in your life to love on you. The abundance is, if it's not here already, it's waiting for you to, to realize and um, experience, okay? Beautiful Taurus, that was wonderful spread there. Okay, so next we're moving on to Gemini. And Gemini, your oracles, I like this. I'm wondering if some of you may have been, like one of your twins has kind of like taken off too far and, and taken you into murky waters or, or worrisome thoughts, right? With, with the way sometimes we can let our mind take off like that. Because what I pulled for you was calmness. Let things settle. Let it be. Let it be as it is in this moment, right? And with that, I pulled grace. So settle it in. Get, get um, you know, down into your soul. Allow the calmness to be around and receive the grace that's awaiting you. I like that. So for some of you, if, you, if you're in kind of a... Um, sort of an, an energetic upward spiral where things are getting a little bit scattered, which it can, you know, we, we, we go there sometimes as humans. And like I said, with Gemini, your, your other, your twin, one of your twins could be, you know, leading the other and taking you on a, on a great adventure way out there. But now could be a nice time to take a breath, to pause, to allow you know, let, let whatever energies are present to be there, even if they're uncomfortable and, um, you know, sort of relish in, in that. I think that this is interesting. I think that, um, yeah, your spread is coming out to be perfectly aligned with this, with these cards. Okay. So this is Gemini's. Let me get this going here. Okay, here we go. So your spread starts out with, let me get this a little better here. Your spread starts out, look at your, your center card, your starting point is exhaustion. So maybe I was onto something here with ne the need to calm things down. You know, if this is not where you're at now, it could be where you're headed, right? Or you could have just, uh, realized, oh my gosh, I'm spreading myself too thin here. I really need to draw, to draw my energy in and um, let things settle, right? Then once this is, is in place, this, this uh, releasing the exhaustion, letting things calm down and, and allowing for grace to show up, allowing for you know, the, the beautiful energy, when, once you calm, then it, there, you're opening up the path for beautiful energy to come in and grace you. I love it because look, you got the abundance card too, but this is in, in the internal energy, right? With the last spread for Taurus, the abundance was at the top. It was kind of like, this is how we reach it, right? But for you, it's present within. And even though you may feel a little spun out and a little bit depleted, you can always tap into that energy of abundance within you. It lives there. And you're aware of it, right? All you need to do is just calm the one twin down and, and get in line uh, within and let the other twin sort of pull, anchor everything in. I love it. This is beautiful. So your abundance is present. With the calming down, it really shows up. Being able to do this dance between getting that energy revved up and then 
bringing it back in and calming down and finding an appreciation for your life within, in your external world, it results in just a, a reason to celebrate, just a really joyous feeling. These ladies are dancing in the rain. Rain doesn't matter. They don't care. They're going to enjoy this moment anyway. And this could be actually a cycle that you go through, Gemini. That could be part of how, how you roll, right? Is that I get myself going, I get everything revved up, and then I reach a point where I have to like calm it down, center back in, and appreciate what, what I have so that I can, you know, really get grounded again to move forward. And then the key to moving forward here is interesting. This is a mental energy. It's the schizophrenia card. This is not meaning that you're uh, schizophrenic, but this does talk about indecisiveness. What do I do? How do I, how do I proceed now? Right? Because at some point that energy that brought you to near this point of exhaustion is going to get revved up again. It's just how you go. You go, you go, you know, um, spiraling up and getting things going and rolling the energy and, and moving things forward. And then you find that you have to get anchored again. And then what, right? After I'm anchored again, now what? And that's interesting because when you are in this centered energy of the calmness and the abundance and the grace, you have a clearer picture of what to do next. So this is just a matter of make the next decision, right? This doesn't feel like any kind of um, crisis or um dilemma for you as far which normally this card kind of reminds me of not being able to decide this guy's stuck between the two cliffs what do I do do I let go of my hands or my feet I don't know what to do right but for you I think it's just a calling to make the next decision right your energy got amped up you you did it you you took it as far as it could go you got yourself centered again and now what and now it's just a simple matter of make the next decision and start down that path which is the fool card, which is your top card here. This is just, let's, let's start again. Let's go toward the next thing, even though it may be unknown, right? This guy might step off the cliff, but who knows? There might be something there waiting to, to cushion him uh, halfway down, right? Doesn't really care. He's taking that step forward. I love it. I love this pattern of, um, of movement for you, Gemini. It doesn't have to always be one straight line right? With the same amount of energy being applied towards your goal in every moment, right? You can make a push, get things rolling, settle back in, get your center again, appreciate what you've achieved so far, appreciate that you're learning, you know, this cycle about you is, is um, uh, you know, your energy gets so high that maybe you know, we realize we can't sustain that all the time. So we need to take that time to settle back in, touch in with ourselves, and then clear things, make the decision to move forward to the next, to the next thing, and then take that step forward. Beautiful. Okay, Gemini, we've, we're done with yours. Now we're going to move on to cancer. Okay, cancer, water sign. I love the, um, the pull I did for you on these oracles. I pulled realignment. This is asking you to feel the ebb and flow of life. This has, this is, she's at sea, right? She's got the seashells, you know, finding their way aligned over her head. She's um, swimming with the seal, you know, moving with the flow, moving with the wave instead of resisting the wave or being uh, taken over by the wave, right? It's just relaxing into that flow because things will come and go, they will rise up to a peak and then, you know, take, take you back down. And if you can move with that energy, there's an alignment that occurs in that. Right. And then with this card, I pulled nature. So yeah, you're, you're touching into those elements around you out in nature, whether it be in the forest or the ocean or somewhere in between, if you're living in a big city, it could just be, you know, find yourself in, in a park and go and get grounded you know, with your back up, your spine up against a tree or something, but there's always an opportunity to realign. And the fastest way to realign is by utilizing nature and the elements out there for us. Okay. So now let me pull your spread. I know that for, um, 
for the cancerian soul there's there's some that that water you know it runs deep those feelings and and those emotions and that sense of um you know needing to express those emotions is is strong for cancer and i i love that because the and and to be able to be replenished by nature just really goes in line with your own with your own path look at that wow okay let's get going with cancers spread okay so your starting point cancer is ripeness so um this is actually also a to me there there's a couple ways to read this and what came to me right now for this is that it is time like the realignment happens in its own time right it, it, the ebb and flow and the moving with things and the being with nature creates the perfect moment right it creates this you know oh if i stay in the flow then i know i will realize when it is time to move next right the the fruit falls off the tree in its own time we sometimes yank it off as humans but in nature that fruit falls when it's ready and when you're ready right after the realignment when you're ready you're you are preparing to make a move forward again right it's just reminding that these elements in nature can really help us to get ourselves centered again um, in order to move forward internally cancer i've got the integration card so this is great because this is taking all of those elements right the outer world the inner world your your higher mind your your basic needs um you know being in nature and then choosing not to right integrating all of those aspects of yourself within and because this is an internal energy it just really it it, it brings some power to this because it's reminding you all of this can be at once all of all of our challenges and our hopes and our um our good feeling energy and the energy that we feel a little bit sluggish and wanting to connect with people and wanting to pull in those can all be present at once they are all part of your experience they're all part of who you are and being able to accept that and and you know take all those parts together to make the whole make you know the complete self is important and as a um you know a water sign that's important for you too to have it all feeling smooth and feeling right what this creates for you in your external world is the transformation you seek it is the growth right you're tapping into things that are unseen you're moving forward even though um you know you you brought yourself to a point where you needed to kind of oh, okay let me go with this flow and realign here once you're aligned you can make that move to move forward and the key to moving forward the key to your next level is the highest level right you're the mastery of this sort of um routine here or this this order of things for you i get going i feel uh life's too much i need to pull in a little bit i need to go with the flow if i'm not feeling like being around people right now i don't have to if i feel like being social and being out there i can that's part of this ebb and flow alignment is that to to recognize it when the time is right for you to make your next move or to pull in and take care of yourself that's where your transformation um, has its power is in your realization of what what's the vibe right now what am i needing right now and then moving with that you're mastering that energy and that's you know this is also a crown chakra card so you're being guided by spirit in every moment to to make these moves in their natural way in their natural timing and then the overview and the uh, final card of your spread is the breakthrough card again. I must have uh, needed to pull this one a couple of times today, but this is that card of pure self empowerment. This is like, oh yeah, I got this. I got this, and I can repeat this, and I can do this again. And if I get stuck again, I can pull out my bag of tricks again and 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 make things right. I can move with the flow instead of forcing things. Right. I don't have to always be turned on and I don't always have to be closed off or, or tucked in, you know, with with myself. So love it how 
this flow and that timing is is yours to dictate and yours to manifest and and create your own flow along the way. Okay, Cancer. Next we have Leo. Leo is my sign, my sun sign, and I love this. This this means a lot to me. I don't. Um, you know, I don't always put myself into these readings, but it really means a lot to me. So I'm hoping it does for other Leos as well. For you, I pulled radiance, of course, because you are the sun, you are the, the sun sign center of the uh, planetary system. And it says rejoice in your life. So really, this is a this is a um, a shining card to, to shine your energy out. But remembering that it starts from what's within, right? Let that, let your uh, generosity, let your sense of being be out there, but also don't lose sight of where it's coming from, right? So the radiance, right? We turn on a light. It's got, you know, the electricity has a little bit of traveling to do. It's, there's stuff happening behind the scenes before that light can actually shine and be radiant. So remembering that is important. And to go with that, I pulled transformation. So the, you know, that that touching in to the knowledge of where you're coming from and being able to shine that out and and warm other people with your light and your radiance that is transforming in itself right the energy that lies within you is is living there and you're able to manifest it into something that you know helps the world helps others around you helps yourself lighting the way for your own path so remembering that, uh, and, and the, you know, transforming is also, you know, how it shows the butterfly. Remember, you know, when, when the caterpillar is cocooned, it's just moving in a natural way. It doesn't really know, okay, here I go. I'm going to tuck in and become a butterfly now, right? It doesn't really have a conscious awareness of that, but it's moving with that energy and allowing the shift to take place. And that's what we're talking about here for you, Leo. It's really realizing that internal um, piece of you, that, that the, the way that you work internally and all that you have to provide and, and share is, is naturally there. And if you let it you know, bubble up and manifest and then shine out into the world, the result is much better than if you're sort of trying to manufacture a way to um, reach others or manu you know, um, you know, sort of come up with a way to say, oh, I'm going to do this now or whatever, you know, kind of like announcing it instead of just letting it naturally come out. I like that. So what I have for you, let me get your spread here. I'm talking too much. Okay, let me get yours going. Okay. Now your, your center card, which we talked about your natural radiance, right, Leo, your starting point is the rebel. This is that energy of, of being unapologetically you just show up as you are, you know, the, he's got the torch leading the way that's his radiance, right? That's your radiance leading the way. Um, he broke, broke some chains down there that were tying him down because it's like, no, I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to, I'm going to be myself. I'm not going to be dictated, you know, by some standard that somebody else is expecting of me. I'm going to, this is going to be my natural light that's coming out. I'm going to utilize my natural light within you. Your internal energy is the ordinariness card. This is interesting because this is, this is sort of like, um, you know, kind of a chop wood, carry water, kind of a feel, you know, go about your day, let things be, you know, be what they are, take a slower pace. But in, in this spread, because it's so close to this rebel card, what I get from it is yourself, your full self, as much as you feel is ordinary is actually extraordinary right? And this is true of all human beings. I'm sorry. You know, we may feel, oh, it's just me doing this. And just, but there is always that light to be shined and shared, right? 
So the humbleness, I think, is what I'm talking about, that you want to remain intact. That that will help because we know sometimes with Leo and their pride, it gets it gets us mixed up. So keeping staying humble while being our full true self, right? That's what allows this transformation and that that light to kind of guide the way. In the in your external world, maintaining the balance between the humble and the uniqueness, maintaining that balance results in a, a love connection. Um, this. Uh, I don't always mean about another person, but I mean this, this sense of full, the fullness in your heart, the compassion for others. This could also mean a love affair that comes as a result of maintaining this balance, right? Continuing to be yourself and remaining humble could result in drawing in a lover that fits you. But really in this spread, because we want to keep it all about you, um, I'm taking this as it develops uh, a, a fuller heart, an opening of your heart, and a true sense of uh, capacity for compassion, which Leo is ruled by the heart. This is totally possible, <laughs> right? If we keep these balances in check, the transformation and the the higher level of love and compassion are um, could be your strong suits there. Moving forward. The key to moving forward is to roll with the change. You know, we have this sense of, um, uh, you know, as human beings, not just Leos, but of like resisting change and not really wanting things to, to change and move. But remember, trans this is the same thing, transformation and change. Allowing that change in is what helps us grow. And sometimes the change is in the form of something that's uncomfortable. We don't really want to experience it because maybe it doesn't feel so great, but really being able to roll with that and allowing that to move, that's where you grow to a more elevated space, right? That's where you can really grow your spirit and um, expand, expand your heart even more. Remember in this change card, this is that wheel that's spinning around, it's constant, change is always there. And we're asking that we instead of gripping onto this outer gripping on and I need it to stay the same you know into this outer part of the of the spinning uh circle here out, out there in the universe that creates a sense of oh my gosh you know I got that resistance to the change really just creates more discomfort and if we rest ourselves in the center of that chaos right we can allow the change to take place and move forward and then get our footing and, and move forward again. The outcome of this is the completion of a cycle. And um, this is also third eye energy. So being able to tap into your uniqueness, let it build up inside, let your heart energy build up inside and then giving and sharing and, and lighting the way for yourself and or others allowing that to keep going, that creates a sense of change and shift, right? Instead of gripping on to, oh, it, I need to be this one way only. And, um, you know, I may not be accepted if I try this new thing, right? That kind of a um, second guessing yourself. That's where we get tripped up. We want to be able to just be our full selves, let our light click on, shine out, and then allow for the change and the growth that follows to come. And then we're at the completion of another cycle, which we have several of those, many of those in our lifetime in many different ways, in our outer world, in our relationships, within us, you know, spiritually, in our, our um, subconscious, all of that. So that's for you, Leo. Okay, next we have Virgo. Virgo, I pulled Ignite release your potential. This is kind of making me feel like maybe things for some of you have been a little stagnant lately. Like, like, uh, I don't, you know, I'm just going through the motions or, you know, taking, you know, taking each day, one day at a time, but it's very sort of um, repeated and, and maybe that sort of ordinariness energy that we had earlier. And it's kind of time now to light a fire under that, uh, under your heels or something and get yourself moving again, getting something starting to create again, because I pulled with that, I pulled birth. So allowing your potential, 
this is release your potential is what it says there, allowing your potential to really shine through and get your, um, you know, your ideas flowing, get your connections with others revved up again, you know, get put some energy into some of those aspects of your life so that you can create a new phase, create a new start for whatever it is you want to achieve. If this is something for you that, like we talked about that stagnant energy, if this is like a physical project, maybe, you know, maybe a remodel of your house or a new project at work or, you know, starting a new relationship, whatever that is, it's important to, um, you know, let's, let's at least take a step forward and get things going again. Let's get things moving, right? Um, and then the birth card, of course, is, is the result of that, the result of that ignition, uh, moving yourself forward. Okay, so your, <laughs> this is fun. It's really fun. Okay, so I have Virgo. I think I'm going to, yeah, there's your starting card. Okay, so the card I have for you. Now, remember, we're talking about maybe things have gotten stagnant or maybe we haven't really taken our step forward that we want to do into our next um, phase. Your starting point here is calling for patience. It's really taking that um, acceptance of the energies that have been here currently and you know allowing it we talk about how the phase of the moon it's you know every 29 and a half days or however 28 and a half days i can't remember it will shift from full to uh new again right it, it has its cycle we don't bellow at the moon and say hurry up and change you know i need you to be full today we know that it has a process and it moves in its own time and this is kind of the sense that maybe you've had up to this point that, you know what, I, I know this is something I wanna to start to manifest, whatever it is, um, and I will allow the right time to present itself. I, I know it will come. And I'm kind of feeling like now's the time. It's kind of time. And within you, your internal energy here is that change card again, you feel the rumblings. You feel things shifting and you're thinking, you know what, I might have to step toward that thing and, and light that fire and get, my, get myself moving again toward that goal. In your external world, being able to allow for what is, but also realizing, okay, you know, it's time to get things sparked again, that creates a sense of rebirth. So we got birth right next to rebirth. So this is your next phase. This is your next level of creation whether it's uh, a new level in a relationship you hold, uh, a promotion at work, a new project, a new personal project, something that you're working on within you. Maybe you're trying to cultivate you know, more ease within you. Maybe you have some self-judgment that, that goes on in, in your mind and you wanna ease that up and, and do away with that and let yourself be more present in the moment. It could be, you know, Maybe you have a jealous streak and you want to work on letting that fall away and, and really create a new level of understanding. So there's all kinds of ways this can be applied, but I love that it comes out of this sort of dormant or, or um, standstill kind of an energy, but you within you, you start to really feel that, that rumbling, that shift, that movement coming. And the key to moving forward from this is this card going with the flow. So we've got like this knowing there's a shift coming, getting that fire lit, letting that newness, that birth, you know, whatever that newness is for you uh, take place and then moving with the energy. So you ignite that fire, you get things going, but you also have to move with it. You can't, you know, always push your way through everything. It's also got to kind of move with what is there. We talked about the ocean, how we can, uh, there's many ways to, to encounter a wave, right? That's either, you know, swimming with it and, or swimming against it either way, you know, standing firm and letting it crash over you and knock you down or just moving with it. And if you move with it, there's so much more ease and uh, more ease and then more 
more progress, right? Because you're, you're, you're feeling the motion constant. The outcome of this flow for you is the success card. So this seems like a good um, little template for you to remember to apply when things are starting to bubble up for you and you're thinking, oh, I'm ready to make a shift. I think it's time. Then you can really just, you know, take the time to tune in and know that the motion and the, the movement and the activity that you're seeking can be started with one spark and then you just let it flow, let it, let it move. Okay, lovely for Virgo. Now for Libra, this kind of, this is funny, not funny. This is typical of me, I guess. I pulled creativity, seize the day and creation. So Libra, it's time to, to start really making some um, creative moves. And, and I don't mean, you know, this is, this is, I'm going to see what the spread says, but I'm, I'm getting this feeling that this is actually less about assertive action and more about the internal inspiration that comes. And it all starts with the feeling. I have a feeling I need to start this new, this new endeavor. I have, a, I have, this feels good to me. If I were doing this project, it would feel really good, right? And then you become inspired to create. If you're a musician, you know, you, I don't know every musician's process, but mostly I believe it comes from emotions and feelings and, and being inspired to write the song and being inspired from, from the inside out, right? Instead of trying to think, think our way through it. So this is a very, um, you know, um, internal bubbling up that I feel is coming for you, Libra. And something good is coming. I feel your, uh, you know, because you're an air sign and you're, um, wow, wow, I'm just blown away right now. Because you're an air sign and you like to utilize your um, mental capacities, which very well you should because you're very good with it. And especially in, you know, in the balancing act that you do. Um, sometimes I think you rely on that, that mental strength to work your way through things, but this is kind of calling for you to, 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 to dip down into what, what's going on deeper in your soul and to let that take you forward. So creativity and creation. Okay. Let me show you these. <laughs> So your starting point is postponement. You may have been feeling stagnant. You may have been feeling like those things I want to achieve are far off into the distance. They're, they're not here. They're, you know, all this beautiful colored world is through that window, not where this figure is sitting. Where they're sitting, it's still kind of dull and gray scale, right? But this is where they want to go. And, but it feels like it's not here. It's not coming. Where, where are my goodies, <laughs> right? The, the internal energy that supports this longing for something to come through is your mind. And, and this is not, you know, a smooth working mind right here. This could be that there's, there are too many thoughts crowding things for you right now that you really do need to, to make a clearing and realize that in order for me to move forward into my next level or create the next thing I want to do, my mind has to get a little quieter right? Your mind is a beautiful, powerful tool, but sometimes it is the only thing going on. And, you know, and this isn't only for Libras, it's for many of us human beings. And when that gets out of balance, we get stuck, right? And yeah, then the things we want to see come are far off into the distance. But look what we have <laughs> in your external world as a reminder in your day-to-day -day life is how many times do we have to say it's time to create, right? We got the creator for you. It's crazy. So this is a reminder. And remember, this is third chakra energy as well, lit up. It's your doing. This mental log jam that can, that can go on within you is your doing, right? And I know, you know, we it doesn't always feel good to, to be told, you know, you're creating everything in your experience. It's, you know, everything, but it is really true. The way, maybe the way you allow 
more and more thoughts to get to get in there and have like a little crowded little party going on there maybe that helps you feel like you're being able like you're producing like you're moving forward like you're like you are creating but sometimes we need to balance that out we need to pull it back and get into the to the the deeper vibes in our soul and realize that every step of the way we get to choose we get to choose how we feel or what we think about any certain given you know any situation we get to choose when and how and why we're going to create our next experience so this is just a reminder that yeah your mind is powerful and it really does help us move forward but also our soul is on board and it needs to have a voice as well moving forward for you the key to moving forward libra is the thunderbolt card that is the energy of allowing certain bogged down vibes and and uh, maybe old baggage and and old ways of seeing things allowing them to fall away uh sometimes you might want to just push them away and make that a, a sudden thunderbolt kind of a vibe but this is just really the release of old ways the release maybe of some of those cluttering thoughts letting them fall away so that you make space to create your your next endeavor i mean how much creativity is it needs to be in your spread to remind you i love it so much for you it, there's a really a lot to be born coming through for you a lot to be opened up if you can get that little balance of you know the mind and the gut the mind and your intuition or the mind and your soul going and then the outcome for you in the final card in your spread is the fool so that is starting new paths that is creating and moving forward with your creation right so you've got this kind of lined out for you and i think if some of you have been feeling stuck and remember this is general this isn't for every single one of you but you know some of you may have really been feeling stuck and it is a, a nice reminder that you can create the next phase you are in charge of that okay Okay, what do we have next here? Scorpio. All right, Scorp. You're in as the the depth of Scorpio always comes through. We have wisdom and insight. So you really have this is this wisdom card says remember. Remember who you are, remember where you came from, remember all of that all that came before you, all the experiences, all the people, the encounters um and and you know make room for that to to be on board as you move through you always um you know are able to sort of see the unseen that's part of the scorpio trait right the sort of a more of a mystical um vibe and you know having this insight card that comes with it makes perfect sense you as you are you're pretty much complete you know, as a being that, that, you know, well, we all are complete as beings, but what I mean is in this moment with um, the way you're in your life right now is probably for some of you, you know, you're feeling very secure, very certain of, you know, who you are, who you want to interact with and why, and not really needing um, advice from the outside, not really needing others to, to help guide you because you have everything you need within. And that's kind of the, the vibe of that, of those cards. Okay. Next for you, your spread. I love it. Okay. So I've got <laughs> interesting that I get, um, you know, some of these cards really come through a couple times. I mean, I've shuffled, I guess I could shuffle more, but I don't, they're face down. So they're still coming through as, um, as they need to be for each of you. So your first card, Scorpio, is clinging to the past. Remember, we want to talk about the wisdom we have on board and the insight that we alone know what's best for us and how to proceed and how to move forward. So Clinging to the past needs to be released before we can actually um, fully realize all the wisdom that we've gathered. The past is 
how we got here, obviously, but it isn't where we are now. We don't want to, we don't want to um, block the current energies that are around us. This figure, she has her box of memories here firmly over her head, really loving, you know, all those past connections and the, the, the ways that, um, you know, that things went in the past and, and the growth that was, that was seen, but really in the present moment, there, there's all this light filled energy that she's missing because she's, her head's in the past. So this is a calling to appreciate the past because it has given you the wisdom that you carry now. And it has given you the insight that you've been able to develop. So appreciate the past but don't live in it, right? Live in this moment. And that brings us to our next card, the internal energy that supports the releasing of this, this uh, energy that, that we're gripping onto our past life. The internal vibe is moment to moment. Be in this moment. This figure walks along this river with boulders, you know, supporting him so that he doesn't fall into the water, but he's walking with closed eyes because he's right, his feet are exactly under him on this boulder. And when it's time to move to the next one, he knows it will be there to support him because he was moving with such deliberation in every single moment, every single breath that he knows there's support for him all along the way. That's the wisdom and insight. This is you kind of walking that river with your wisdom on board, knowing I got this. And every step in every moment, I got this. In your external world, it creates a need to continue to open up your channels to spirit, stay open. This is, you know, that crown chakra energy coming through this being down through all the chakras down to the root, but it's going, you know, it's being received from up above. And because of all the, the wisdom and insight you've been able to develop to this point in your life, and then the willingness to release the past and stay in this moment you're wide open to receive all the next messages that you need in order to proceed, which leads us to the key to moving forward is your inner guidance, trusting the messages that you get, trusting the nudges, you know, the little, the little um, inclinations that you feel, Oh, I think, I think I might try this new thing and, and really trusting your guidance because you have the alignment because you have the wisdom on board and you're willing to release the past and try new, new ways, new ways of approaching relationships, new ways of um, showing up, you know, in, in your circles, in your life. Um, without heavy assertion, it doesn't have to, this isn't what I'm feeling is, um, I've got all this wisdom and I'm going to move, you know, I'm going to move forward and you're going to listen to all the things. I, it's not that. This is an internal alignment that you can, there's an equanimity here that you can carry with you and move from situation to situation with, you know, with your knowledge, with your self-guidance on board. And there's a neutrality almost that is, you know what I know, even if I make a step that I'm not trusting, I can make a change, but I have the knowledge within me that can guide me in that change. And now your final card and the insight into your spread is again, this master card. You, you're mastering this Scorpio. Remember this crown chakra energy of staying open results in the crown chakra, chakra energy of you know, being on purpose, of knowing how to move through some of this, um, you know, some of life struggles or some of the questions that we have, you know how. It's, it's a matter of just pulling in and trusting yourself. Okay. Okay. Next we have Sagittarius. Okay. Sag, your Oracle cards, I pulled protection. This is, it says goddess has your back. You're always protected. You can move through life, even in your, you know, uh, far reaching ways, you know, aiming that arrow, getting yourself to the next spot you're always protected. You're always held. That's a nice reminder. Um, but with that, what I pulled was the grounding card. So perhaps we're at a place right now, Sag, where there's a lot of that reaching going on. 
a lot of it. And, and that's good and fine because that's how you make your strides. But being remembering to pause and get centered and, and ground down as well. You know, we can reach, but we also want to, we want to stay grounded at the same time. So that's interesting that, that we have, um, and even in the grounding, even in the slowing down and the rooting yourself again, you're protected. I love that. That's just a general, you know, uh, all encompassing energy for you to remember is that the universe just will always hold you. You know, that's for all of us, but that seems to be the message that's coming through for Sag right now is the universe will always carry you wherever you need to go. You know, even if you're getting grounded in, in this current earth energy right now, that's okay. You're, you're still held. And in this life and beyond. Okay, so your spread, Sag. Now we have this... Um, uh, oh yeah, see, there's, you are protected and you have much, much support around you. And we'll, we'll, I'll show you why in a second. Um, your, your shifts are going to come with the need to really, really be aware of the, um, energy that's holding you, the energy that is always carrying you forward. It's really needing to be aware of that. Okay, so let me get that going. Move these out of the way. So. Okay, Satch, here we go. Your starting point. Okay, remember, you always have guides with you. The, the universe is always there carrying you forward. Um, rem remembering to ground, you know, every now and then when you need to. The starting point here is participation. This is a group effort right? You and your guides, you and your <clears throat> closest loved ones, you can achieve anything together, right? The, the, um, and, and you're protected every step of the way. Within you, you may feel a little bit cut off from spirit guides or from physical people in your world that are usually part of your group, because I pulled isolation. This is kind of like, maybe there's a, uh, um, not a deliberate cutting off, but maybe a drifting away that, that you realize, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so, <clears throat> you know, not in the deep freeze, but I, I am, I'm sort of um, separated from this group and this support that I'm seeking. The, the key to shifting that is to go ahead and, you know, this, this figure is melting the ice by showing his emotions, right? I'm going to cry, let the, I'm going to, you know, express myself and let myself break free of this um, disconnected feeling. I'm going to reach out and connect and get back into this feeling that I have the support. Um, it's a group effort. I have the support because in your external world, releasing that, you know, sort of seclusion, that secluded feeling, releasing that brings you back to connectedness right away. So going forward, you have, you know, all your group, all your support waiting there for you. It's just that in some moments you feel a little disconnected from it. Natural, normal, you got this, right? It's just remembering, oh, I'm feeling a little bit out in the cold here. I'm feeling left out from my normal group or um, I'm feeling disconnected from spirit right now. And it's just remembering, you know, show up, reach out, make the connection, um, Show your true self, be your honest self, and the, the connections just line right back up. The key to moving forward to you and getting yourself kind of out of that loop and into a new level of awareness is your wisdom, is your maturity, is the practice over and over of these processes, right? Remembering I have all the, all the support that I need and then reaching for it and feeling it out and making sure that your waking life, you know, um, includes an awareness of it, an awareness of that connection, whether it's with physical people or your spirit guides. But as you practice and move forward, you get this more and more and, and you can't ever unknow it, right? If you continue to practice this and knowing I'm good, you know, I'm held, I'm okay. That keeps you in a more calmer 
if you see this figure is just at ease in, in their wisdom. And then the outcome of this spread and the message for this, um, this whole journey for you, Sag, is the consciousness card, is your highest self on board moving you through this and reaching up for that next thing. This is a third eye um, energy as well. So your intuition becomes a, a very important factor in moving through these, maybe these feelings, these uh, spaces of disconnectedness. Your intuition, you know, can guide you through. And it's remembering, oh, I'm in this disconnected space now. I remember how to move for, move forward with this. And I can, I can trust that my group or my spirit guides or the universe is waiting for me to rejoin, to rejoin them. Okay, next we have Capricorn. So Capricorn, your oracles, I love it. I've got, I love this. This, your oracle is hope. And it says, out of darkness comes light. And then I pull dream work, your hopes and your dreams, right? This is time to focus on those things that you want to see um, manifested. And it's a process of learning to manifest, you know, to create your own experience. Like we talked earlier with that, that creator energy, we all have that ability. It's actually the way we get things done, right? Is to realize if we are deliberate about the choices we make in every moment, the, 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 the choices we make to respond to certain situations, that keeps us moving in the right direction, right? So your hopes and dreams, I'm wondering if maybe for some of you, you've been in a dark, in a darker, a dark place and that you're maybe have some uncertainty on board and maybe you're not, um, you haven't been able to move uh, forward with any real sense of progress because of, I don't know, maybe you're in your mind, you're telling yourself, you know, it's not going to work. I'm not worthy, whatever that is. You've got you know, you've got what it takes to make these things get manifested forward, but it's a matter of the awareness of, you know what, I, I can dream this up and I can, I can see it come through because I'm creating it. Right. Okay. So I've got here, let me get these right. Oh, a couple of another, um, uh, double card here, another duplicate. Okay. This is good. This is Capricorn. Let's go. All right, your starting point here, as it relates to your hopes and dreams and those things that you want to manifest, your starting point is that aloneness card. That's that energy of I alone can do this. The 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 you know the the presence of my own awareness is what will carry me through, is what will manifest these things that I want to see come to light the, the, um, knowing I can do this on my own, you know, as opposed to where we just had Sagittarius kind of needing to remember that we're, we're, um, held and we're part of a group and we have the support. You're not really there. It's not that you don't have the support, but it's not something that I think what you want to do is shore up your own, um, inner strength and know that you got this on your own. And then if support comes and, and you have, the need to lean on others. Yeah, by all means, because, you know, dream work makes the teamwork or whatever you call that. <laughs> but the, the starting point for you is to know, you know, to be certain of your capacity to get things, to get things moving, to manifest things that you're, that you're hoping for. Internally, you have that mental energy, that mind card that is kind of maybe a little bit like Libra, maybe a little bit with a, too many jumbled thoughts, too many promises, too many, um, too many hopes and dreams, you know, maybe you need to, you know, write this all out and get it out of your mind so that it's not so crowded in there so that you can feel strong and centered and right over your own feet as you progress toward your hopes and dreams. This um, releasing of the excessive thoughts uh, results in your external world, in your day-to-day -day world as remembering to trust, right? Remembering that 
oh, you know, I alone can do this. And if I continue to, you know, be in gratitude and work toward my hopes and dreams, they will come to fruition. They will come through. My thoughts that stop me from moving forward are in my control. And even though it doesn't always feel that way, I can make, I can make progress if I allow the thoughts to be there, but also allow them to wash away. Or like I said, sometimes we have to journal out to get this stuff out of our system. And that might be a good, um, a good thing for you to do here. Okay. And then moving forward, the key to moving forward. Remember we said you alone can create and manifest what it is you want to manifest. Having that knowledge with you and trusting that the universe will carry you forward and, and, and give you the signs that you need to move forward on your own as you manifest. The key to moving forward is to not, um, not, not care, but not worry so much about other people's perceptions of your progress or not really uh, putting your needs onto others, putting what, what the things that you expect onto others. It's a two-way street, this projections card. They need you to behave in a certain way in order to go forward and, and you need them to understand you better or whatever. None of that really matters as much. It's important to have you know um, compatibility with those around us, but we don't need to bend so far to their expectations and we don't need to project our own expectations onto others. Look at this light that's coming through. It's uh, that time of day where the sun's gonna start beaming through. <laughs> You alone can achieve this. And so trying to um, not I'm, disregard is what I come up with, disregard the expectations of others, but I don't mean it in a demeaning way. It's more like, I understand, I hear you. I see what, what you expect from me. I see what you think, where you think I should go next, but I think I'm going to do this my way, right? It's just a matter of uh, respectfully declining um, other people's input at certain points, right? And I'm, I'm talking about, you know, at the start of your path of manifestation into the next thing, the next level of awareness you want to reach or the next project that you want to, that you want to complete. It's really just um, owning it and appreciating that others want to have input, but, but owning it that, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to take these steps on my own. And the result of that for you is one of my favorite cards, the adventure. You are, you're headed out into the unknown and you're eager, right? You're going toward that rainbow life, toward that thing, the hopes and dreams that you've put into place. As long as you realize I have the strength and the power to do this on my own without anyone's input, I appreciate the input. I may take it into consideration, but also I got this, right? And that's that's the vibe for you right there, Capricorn. Okay, next we're doing Aquarius. Got two more. Okay, Aquarius, yours, look at this. I've got um, some really powerful shifts for you, Aquarius. I have rebirth, let go of the things of the ties that bind, and I've got breakthrough. So really, this is a powerful time or it has a potential to be a powerful time for you, Aquarius. Um, let's see. So if we're just going to assume this is a time of rebirth, I'm going to let go of old um, weight and old baggage and old ways of being or perceptions or beliefs or people or situations. I'm letting go of the old in order to make a breakthrough, break through the surface and get ready to create new you know, the, the actual rebirth card. So let's see what, what, what these cards are telling us is um, sort of the, the template in order to make that happen. Your, I'm getting a couple of doubles again. I like it. I like it because I like the way these are coming out. Okay, so that. Yeah, you got this Aquarius. Okay, so remember we're, we're letting go of the old. We're, we're, we're going to let go of those ties that bind in order to create space and create a new sort of lightness so we can move forward. 
your starting point is the burden. You may have had some um, situations, some perceptions and beliefs within you maybe, or literal, physical, real world situations that have bogged you down, that have made you feel tied down. Let go of the ties that bind. Take that sack, take that burden and place it on the ground. Let it go, drop it so that you can move forward. This is kind of your starting point. So that's gonna be the, the thing that needs to happen before the breakthrough comes, right? Let go of the old weight. Within you internally, we have that wisdom, that um, innocence card again. This is that old sage that feels he's done and knows and been and done everything in his life, but he still will find the space to find wonder in this very moment, in the most mundane uh, aspects, or not, I wouldn't say a grasshopper is mundane, it's fascinating, but that's the energy here. We could walk by a grasshopper every day and think, oh, well, whatever that is, but this energy is calling for you to really see it with fresh eyes, to see, and this is an internal energy. So yeah, we feel weighed down. We have old paradigms, old beliefs that we need to maybe release. If I'm willing to release even one of those things, let go of that tie that binds, I have fresh eyes. I get to see things in a new way. I get to kind of jumpstart my path again and, and see things from a different perspective, which leads us to your external card and your real world and your day-to-day -day life. We got the possibilities card. This is talking about, say, there's like a little field mouse down there living way down here and his whole reality are the ants that are crawling around him and the crickets and the blades of grass and that's his world this is where you've been locked down in this smaller vision of your world and letting go of some of those old beliefs and those old paradigms even if it's just one or two of them within you opens it up so that you're, you rise above it all and you become the eagle. You see the entire landscape. You see all the possibilities that are out there for you. And then you're able to take, you know, take a step forward toward them. And that key to moving forward, which I love, I've got another couple double cards here, is the card, the integration card. This is that taking my past, I've laid my burdens down, I appreciate how far they got me, right? Maybe this is an old um, way of seeing things, an old, maybe an old job or an old relationship or, um, you know, an old label that you placed upon yourself. You know, I am mother, I am, you know, career woman, I am, I am, whatever those labels are. And maybe they've become uh, too much of a shadow, too, too much of a cloak for you that your real true self wants to come through in a new way. So you, you can drop those and, and create new. See it with fresh eyes, widen your perspective and see what's possible, and then let all of it be present. We got the integration card. It's let all of it be present. Even the stuff that we had to put down, even the ties that bind that we cut, let that all be part of your current experience so that you can move forward. The um, act of integrating all of that is for you, that results in your mastery. We've got master, this is the third time I've pulled this. So a lot of you are at this level of higher consciousness. You've got this. It's a matter of remembering in our human moments that, oh yeah, I've been, I've been through a pattern sim similar to this before. And I can move through it in this way, as long as I find my authentic self, drop the things I don't need and be able to widen my perspective and see what's possible ahead, right? We want to be able to, especially in with this rebirth energy, we want, we want to feel wide open. We don't want to feel, I'm going to get from point A to B using this one straight line. We don't want to feel that. We want to feel what comes next, you know, am I going to be able to shift around this way and move this way and meet with a gathering of other energies in order to get myself going, you know, we don't have to make everything a straight line through experience every moment and all the possibilities. Okay. Our final um, spread here will be for Pisces. I love this. This is beautiful. I got enlightenment. Let goddess light fill you. 
Look at that beautiful this card. The illustrations here are just gorgeous. But you're you're preparing, you know, as much as you have that connection to, you know, you you've got that mystical vibe too going on, Pisces. You're um, you know, you're really capturing that energy of enlightenment and really, really moving forward with it. Maybe some of you are still learning to master that. Maybe some of you are just starting to realize, oh, there's way more to it than just what I see and feel and touch around here, you know, or, or whatever. There's way more to my experience. And this is where you're headed, or this is maybe where what you've achieved is, is full enlightenment. With that, I pulled heart opening. So yeah, with, with this realization that there is so much more to be experienced than, uh, just this sort of three-dimensional world it opens up your capacity to to give of yourself to receive the love of others to um connect with others from a heart level and to really learn that you know even the unseen even the unseen um is guided by love all of it so you're getting you're getting this very much so pisces Okay, let me do your spread. And oh, see, yeah, Pisces, you're you're um, even though you're the last sign of the zodiac, <laughs> it doesn't mean you're fine. You know, you're you're kind of a leader. You're kind of a trailblazer here in in this spread in this reading. Okay, so I've got this, and I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, this is very, very good. Okay, let me move some of this out of the way so we have a good showing here. Okay, Pisces, sorry for that pause. So your starting point, Pisces, is the transformation card. So, I mean, heart opening, enlightenment, you know, let the light fill you so that you can transform beyond illusion. You are more than anyone in touch with that third eye in touch with the mystic in touch with um that that you know that that is with that is beyond what we see here on this planet you're fully aware of that and it creates your transformation the, the butterfly represents the metamorphosis and the shifting of your spirit into something bigger into something more far reaching than you ever thought you could before the key to this is, you know, in your human self, right? The key to maintaining this connection to the unseen is to keep your pace. It's a slowing down card is to keep your pace such that your, your feet are directly under you in every step on this planet. And at the same time, you're reaching up <laughs> for, for that goddess light and keeping your pace manageable is really the key for you because you could get too far ahead of yourself or you could go too far up, you know, into that, that unseen territory. And then you're what, where am I here on this earth? Where am I? Right. So that's kind of the key to keeping you grounded. It's like a, a grounding and a reaching at the same time, which I love in your external world. It allows you to move through your experiences with more ease, right? It may seem counterintuitive if I if I slow down, but also stay in touch with what I can't, what I don't know, and what I can't see. That's going to make it easier. It sounds to me like that's confusing, but it isn't. It really is that balance of, you know, maintaining this this moment's presence and also expanding and and staying in touch with that which is yet to come, which which you cannot see yet. That allows you to move through your day to day with ease, like the, the little drops of water that just fall naturally off the lily pad. And then they create this stream, this flow in, in the pond of um, energy that emanates out, right? That's kind of, that's this energy of staying slow, letting that uh, drop of water fall in its own time. But then once it falls, it's creating, it's creating more and more, and that will come through. Your key to moving forward is interesting. I got the guilt card. I got this, this is a mental energy. And I, 
I'm not, I'm not going to interpret this as straight up guilty conscious or whatever. I just feel that sometimes you move ahead and you, you rise up maybe quicker than those around you. And you're, you're out there in the ethers and others maybe don't connect or understand, uh, you know, um, all that you're achieving or all that you're dreaming up. Maybe they don't understand it. And it may make you kind of come down to earth and kind of go, oh, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I, I shouldn't be that way, or I shouldn't keep um, communicating with the, with the mystical. But I think that's something that just needs to be dropped from your experience. You've got you know, all these thoughts about, oh, I should be this, I should do that, or maybe I should be better. But I think if you can learn to manage this energy, like right above ahead, you've got some really nice, beautiful energy once, once that's stripped away, once those mental blocks are stripped away, you can go on about your beautiful, enlightened heart um, and uh, manifesting the things that you want to see come through the outcome and the insight into your whole spread is the card of transformation. So yeah, metamorphosis, transformation, enlightenment, heart opening, it's all lined up. You, you have all that it takes to keep creating and keep staying in touch with the, with the unseen world and letting that guide you through this world. You have all that that takes Pisces. And I think maybe for some of you, you're just coming to realize that and then for some of you, you're like, yeah, this is just affirming. This is, this is what I know, right? But some of you um, are coming on to this energy now. They're coming on board with it. And that's, that's a wonderful thing. Okay. I hope that was, I hope I didn't talk too long. I'm just, this was a test. And after I finish this, I'm hoping that the chapters will make sense. And you can just jump to your sign on the video. Remember to check your moon and rising and maybe you want to check for another loved one and see what their what their outcome is too, what their reading is. But thank you for being here and I'll see you in a few days.